cooling engine, right? It works off the temperature different. So cooling around hot. So what happens is that the two temperatures force each other to push a piston and it spins. So it's environmentally friendly, right? So it doesn't use any fuel, nothing. So it's just environmentally friendly, eco-friendly, whatnot. And it powered this off external combustion. So it's, it can be used for anything practically. It can be used in cars, it can be used in aircraft. It's very good for submarines too, like also like in the marine when they want to go up close to fish, it doesn't make any noise. Like it's a very quiet engine, so it can actually be used in cars. So but the only problem though is that it takes a while to start. But other than that it powers very well. And I said it's also solar, so it can work off heat and fast it can spin, but the heat is once it's there, it can spin really fast. So it can be powered for anything. It's also used in hair dryers, it heats homes in the Netherlands. It actually um Actually in Antarctica, right, where they're actually, actually running experiments there, so what they do is use it to send the information to the colder parts where they are and the warmer parts. And the only problem though back in the day was invented by Reverend Robert Sterling, but he, when he got it, the steam engine was kind of dangerous at that time, it exploded and whatnot, so Sterling engine came into play. It was actually used as a water pump, but the only problem was that the steam engine later on became more sa safer and the oil prices dropped, so then this kind of went out of play, but it's still very efficient and it still has potential. You want to add anything? Um, and light and power can use this engine with the sun to generate electricity. If you look here, we can generate a couple of microphones. We could, um, we could use the engine. Um, so you could um, generate on a large scale basis, though. You could. You can see it barely moving, right? But that's a couple microvolts. So, if you, and this is generated off the heat, so the gas expands, right? When the gas expands, it pushes that piston up, the pressure builds, and that pushes the flywheel. So then, now the, the piston moves up and the gas is pushed to the bottom, right? The bottom is cold, so the gas contracts, and then that loses the pressure and the piston falls. So then you can, then that repeats itself over and over and it keeps spinning. This was spin all day once the temperature is different enough. Alright, the question is why, why these turning engines as opposed to your everyday internal combustion engine? So with the um, increase in global warming and of course, which is um, in, um, influenced by the greenhouse effect caused by a lot of fuels produced by combustion engines, the turning engine provides a more environmentally